and welcome to my YouTube channel. Last year, pretty much around the same time, one of my subscribers asked me to share some of my favorite makeup products and nail polishes and unfortunately I couldn't make that video because I had nothing to share. For many years I've had staples, many makeup products that I love and then I started to declutter a lot of it around three years ago because I had too much, too many makeup products, nail polishes that I bought and did not use. So I decluttered a lot and I started to think again about what I want to buy and I try to be very intentional. But it was not easy because I couldn't easily find the colors that I love, the products that I wanted, so it took me some time. And actually, I am not completely done. So this video is probably gonna be into two parts. This is gonna be part one. And during the summertime, because there are more things that I want to buy, but they are more suited for summertime, probably in the summer, I will do a part two. Now that I am done with the introduction, I'm gonna start with the nail polishes products that I love. For my nail polishes, you will see that at the moment I focus on the same type of colors, the pink or nude pink colors. Usually the colors I like the most are the red, the nudes, the pink and purples, but this year I focused more on the pink colors. And there are three brands of nail polishes which I really love. So Cure, which is marketed as a natural, clean nail polish brand. I don't really know about those claims. I never really paid attention to the ingredient list. When it comes to nail polishes, I'm not that picky. But I really like the products they have, the colors and the texture and I also love the fact that the nail polishes dries pretty fast compared to other nail polishes I had tried in the past. Then the other nail polishes I really love are the one from Kiko. I like because they are cheap and I like the brush. I mean it's good quality really. And then the last brand that I love a lot is Mavala. And I've been buying nail polishes from Mavala, which is a Swiss brand, but you can easily find this brand in France. And I've been buying products from them for many, many years, more than 10 years, probably. I love the fact that it comes in small packaging. That way you don't waste any products and they also have really cute colors. I'm still looking for more colors when it comes to summer and you will see that on the video that I will make in the summertime. For my base, it is pretty simple. I use only Cure Base Nail Polishes. Here you have two of them, the Super Base and the First Base. Honestly, I don't see a difference between those two. I took one and the other randomly and I like both. For my top coat, I discovered the gel effect top coat from Kiko this year and I was recommended in Kiko stores to use two coats of this nail polish in order to get a gel effect and also in order for my nail polish to last longer and I have to say it works. It is cheap because it is from Kiko and I really like it. It also dries quite fast, although it is not marketed as a dry fast top coat, but it does. So it does multiple things at the same time and I really like this. And on my nail polishes today, I have uh, Kiko number 110. And if you watch all of my previous videos, the nail polishes you will see on my nails are one of those polishes that you see now. To finish, for the past many, many years, probably around 
10 years, I've been using the same nail polish remover from the brand Bourgeois and it does not contain acetone. It does not dry my nails when I use it. I thought it was the case for any nail remover without acetone, but I've tried several brands and I must say that they all made my nails very dry. So honestly, I didn't realize how good it was until I started to try other brands. And then I quickly came back to this one. It does the job. I don't need more than this. Now let's talk about makeup. And for my base, I explained on my last video, which was a makeup tutorial, that I can't find a primer that works for me. I have oily skin and I've tried many primers and I don't like any of them. So as a primer for my foundation to last all day, I use sunscreens that work great as primers. I have three or four sunscreens that I like. So the one I'm wearing today is the Can Make Mermaid Sunscreen. This is a Korean brand. I usually only wear this in the winter when it's really cold or maybe in spring if I have a long lasting foundation like I have today. And actually this sunscreen is sold as a sunscreen that should work well as a primer. I agree with that. I think people who have normal skin will enjoy it even more than me but if you have oily skin and a good foundation in the winter you will also appreciate it. The next one is from the brand Dr. Sabs. It is the daily sunscreen. That is the one I used on my last video. I use this one the entire year. I can use it in the winter or in the summer depending on the foundation that I wear. And the last sunscreen that I use as a primer is also from the brand Dr. Sam's, but this time it is the mineral sunscreen, which is more mattifying. So I actually use this one in the summertime. I have full detail review of the sunscreen, so I'm not going to say more in this video. On top of the sunscreen, I use my foundations and I have two that I love. The first foundation, which I have already talked about on this channel actually, is from the brand Mina. And this brand used to have a store in London many years ago. That's how I discovered it and that's how I got matched with their foundation. But actually last year when I was in London, I saw that they sell in some boots store. If it is something that you might be interested. The brand, when you look at it, reminds a lot of Kiko, but it's not Kiko. I showed you the old packaging, but now this is the new packaging. I absolutely love this foundation, which is called the 3-in-1 foundation. It is a long-lasting foundation. It will be great if you have normal to oily skin. It is not for dry skin. I tend to use this foundation mainly in the summer, but because of my last video, I showed you another foundation application. Today, I wanted to show you the finish of this foundation. And because usually it's not a foundation that I use in the winter in order for my skin to not feel too dry. I paired it with a sunscreen that is not really mattifying that much. So both works actually good together. By the way, on my videos, I always explain that I avoid fragrance in my skincare, but I also avoid fragrance in my makeup, especially foundations, because in the past I have broken out from foundation who contain fragrances and drying alcohol. So those products do not contain those ingredients. The other foundation that I love, and it's not going to be a surprise for you because I've talked about it 
many times recently on this channel and it is the Seamless Skin Foundation from Lisa Eldridge. So I use two colors to get my shade and it gives a uh, light to medium to medium full but not full coverage it works for different skin type depending on the primer you use i tend to use it more in fall winter and spring and less in the summer in the summer i use the other one the most it gives a beautiful natural finish it is the same for the previous foundation actually I really love both and if you want a full demonstration, a full review of this one, I actually made a full detailed review of this foundation on this channel, so I will leave the link for you. To finish with the base products, let's talk about the concealer that I love to use and it is the 4 filter from the brand Huda Beauty. This is a recent buy for me. I bought it only a few weeks ago and I really love it. I love the color. It's perfect for dark skin and she has a wide range of color for all skin. And unfortunately, when some brands may have a good range of foundation, their range of concealer is not that good, but she did it. So this one is the color papaya. It is a bright orange, which is perfect for me. And they have a darker orange as well. I don't really have dark cycle, so I don't use it to correct under my eyes, but I use it when I want a more sophisticated makeup look and it helps to brighten my eyes area when I use it under my foundation. I like that it does not look cakey at all. It is not drying at all. It is just perfect. And if you want to see me use it, you can watch my previous video. And today I have also used it under my foundation. It is a great product. It is really perfect. And you only need a little bit because it is highly pigmented. Now let's talk about one of my favorite makeup product and I'm talking about blushes. For the blushes, it has been complicated for me to find new blushes. I used to use blushes from NARS, Lancome, Ilia Masqua, which are extremely high quality brands with beautiful, perfect texture blushes. But when it was time for me to renew my makeup, I realized that they actually discontinued many of their blushes and especially the blushes that was working on darker skin. So I had to start looking at other brands. When it comes to NARS, uh, from the United States to France, we don't have the same blushes. The United States have way more blushes than in France. So the choices when it comes to darker skin, it's also smaller. And for some reason, for the past few months, on the French website, many of the colors are out of stock and it is the same in stores. So there are blushes that I could still buy from NARS, but they're still out of stock. So I don't know what's going on. And also the trendy blushes right now are the liquid blushes and I don't like liquid blushes. A few years ago, the trends were the cream blushes, which I liked, but the liquid one is not my thing. I found it too complicated to use. Uh, it has too many steps compared to just using a powder. So I prefer my powdery blushes, which also made it more difficult to find because now they are not that trendy, but still, I was able to find a few that I'm going to show you. The first ones are from the brand Juvia's Place. And Juvia's Place is a brand that I've been hearing for many years, but it's sold in the United States. And if you want to buy it from Europe, you have to pay quite a big amount of shipping. But this past Black Friday, they put their blushes at 50%, which made the shipping not that bad. So I 
was able to order two of their palette blushes and each palette contains two blushes so in the end I got four blushes from this brand and they are just like I imagine and just like the review I've seen for many years which means they are really good so I took this palette first and today I am using this color which is like um, dark reddish orangey color and this pink is a color I've also tried and I really love it. Today I am wearing this on my face. I really love it. I think this color is the perfect everyday color for me throughout the years whether it is winter, fall, summer it is just a color that looks really natural on dark skin with a warm undertone and the other palette I got is this one so this pink is a kind of dusty pink that looks good in the winter on my skin and this orange color would probably be perfect in the summer but I have not used it yet so obviously I picked colors that works great for my skin tone but they have colors for every skin tone from the lightest to the darkest and their products are highly pigmented they have beautiful colors and it looks like the high-end blushes but for a price that is much cheaper for the same quality the other blush that I have and which I bought only last year is from the brand Inglot and it is the uh, color number 124 so this is the packaging but when I bought it I didn't know that they have what they call freedom products which means that it is sold as a refillable but I don't have the packaging that goes with it so that is something I should buy and this color I bought it online but I saw it last spring in London because they have a store in London so I tried several of the blushes and this one was the color that I really really love it is a beautiful pink on me which work for any season the last blush color is actually not a blush it is an eyeshadow from the brand Kiko which I use as a blush I used it on my last video which is a makeup tutorial and I was actually looking for a blush in that color but I couldn't find it so I got this eyeshadow NARS has a blush that is quite similar to this color but as I told you many of the colors are out of stock I hope it is not discontinued but I was able to find this color which is quite close to the NARS blush that I wanted let's continue with powder products but this time we'll focus on eyeshadows I don't know for you but I've never been crazy about eyeshadows ran around seven years ago when it was super popular to have these three four five six steps eyeshadows look with so many colors i was not into it i've never been into having many eyeshadows on my lids but despite that like many of us i fall into the trend of the big eyeshadows palette I bought a few I was gifted a few and I realized quite quickly actually that I was not really using them I understood that I do not like having big eyeshadow palettes so again I started to declutter a few of them a few years ago and I still have a few that I didn't want to get rid of because I was thinking I bought them they are too old to give it to someone but I have to throw it away I felt bad about it so I kept them although I have not used them 
in a long time, I even haven't looked at them. But I think that making this video is going to help me to throw them away because it's time to move on. <laughs> Do you feel me or not? Do you declutter your makeup often or not? For some reasons, I had difficulties to get rid of those few big eyeshadows palette I have left, but I'm gonna do it. So anyway, so quickly I realized that the big eyeshadows were not my thing. And when I understood that, Charlotte Tilbury started her brand. So I actually started to buy Charlotte Tilbury products many years ago when she was only available in London. And at the time I used to go in London very often and every time I would go, I would buy one Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette. And I actually like and used and still use her eyeshadow palettes because they are small palettes and the colors are well chosen to work together to have one, two or three different looks and also i really love the quality of the eyeshadows i think it is super easy to blend it is pigmented enough it is very user friendly i also love the packaging of the palette because it is an expensive product so for me when it is expensive i enjoy you know having a nice product because if i have to pay the price at least let's make this product beautiful and i'm actually wearing eyeshadows from charlotte tilbury today i am wearing on my lids and creases two colors from the eyeshadow palette which is called the vintage vamp charlotte tilbury since the launch of her brand has discontinued some products, changed some products, changed the name of other <laughs> products. So I'm going to try to find the right name for each product. Those palettes are good for every day, but also for a more sophisticated party look. Actually, for many years when I would go on vacation, I would bring some Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows palette every time and that's when i realized that i am way more into small eyeshadow palettes for many years i stuck with charlotte tilbury eyeshadow palettes because i couldn't find any other palettes that i like i also avoid everything which is limited edition because that really annoyed me to buy a product and then if i need to buy it again it is gone so i don't buy any limited edition product even if i like it i'm not gonna buy it so the most recent eyeshadows palette which made me want to buy eyeshadows are the ones from lisa eldridge so she released five eyeshadow palettes last year and i bought two i bought the cinnabar eyeshadow palette which i used on my previous video and i also bought the myth eyeshadow palette which i am using on the video before the previous one similar to charlotte tilbury i love the small packaging i love the fact that the colors are well put together for an everyday but also for a party look so they are very user friendly and you can take one eyeshadow palette with you on vacation and make several looks same as Charlotte Tilbury, the eyeshadows are easy to blend and very high quality. I haven't seen more eyeshadows that make me want to buy it, except for maybe cream eyeshadow that I tend to use more in the summertime. So you will see that on my summer favorite makeup video. But for now, I am pleased with what i have and i can make enough makeup looks with it especially since as i told you i don't wear eyeshadows all the time and when i wear eyeshadows i often go for a simple look with 
one color or maximum two colors which is actually really trendy in 2023 but it has been my all-time favorite look since we've been talking about eyeshadows i'm gonna continue with eye products with my mascara and there is only two i enjoy at the moment this one which is the lash idol from lancome which i use on my previous video that is also what i am wearing today i am wearing two coats of mascara and if i use three i get the full effect it is waterproof it is very black it is very lifting defining that's what i like in a mascara the other mascara that i like but i don't have it right now is from the brand l'oréal paris and i forgot the name of this mascara but i will leave it somewhere and it is quite similar to this one but more for every day i also buy it in a waterproof version the other eye product that i love are my bros mascara and the one i have been using for the longest time is the artist bro plump and set bro artist from l'oréal paris again it used to come in a bigger packaging it used to be twice bigger but a few years ago they decided to sell it in this small packaging regardless i love the brush i love that it is precise and it does stick the mascara in place the only thing i don't like is the color it is a brown color but it is not dark enough for my eyebrows which is why i use another eyebrow mascara which gives me the perfect color when i use both together this one is the tinted brow by nyx and again i've been using this one for many 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 years but this year i was at their store and i realized that this one was not available in the store anymore because they launched new eyebrow mascara so they didn't sell this one in the store and when i asked i was told that probably this one would be discontinued and replaced by the new products so when I learned that, I tried one of their current eyebrow mascara, but I really did not like it at all. So I went on their website because they were still selling this product on their website and I bought a few just to make sure that I had enough for at least the next two years. And by then, I hope I will be able to find a dupe for this one. But at least I am set for quite some time. The last product I use on my eyes are the eyeliners. So I have different type of eyeliners. First, I have this eye pencil from Lancome, which I have been using for many years. It is a waterproof brown eyeliner. I love this because of the color. It is a perfect brown for my skin. I have used it today here. And I like to use this brown color when I want impact, but not too much impact that a black color would give. It works perfect in brown, but I'm still looking for a black eye pencil. So hopefully in the summer video, I will have a black pencil to show you. For my upper lid, as an eyeliner at the base of my upper lashes, I use a pasty eyeliner, which I showed you on my previous video. And this one is from the brand mac so i use this with a pencil because i am quite bad when i have to apply an eyeliner on top the paste works better for me and i use this dark brown when i want impact 
but not too much and I use this black one when I want a bigger impact and this one is the gel eyeliner by Jemmy Maybelline these products have been sold for many many years and I really love it for me it is a staple last but not least my favorite lipsticks and here I have many products so I won't have time to show you each individual products but I put them in three categories in those pockets here I have three of them and if you know the brand Lisa Eldridge you will recognize those pockets with the Lisa Eldridge signs so you can already guess that I have many Lisa Eldridge lipsticks just like I said about the blushes I used to have lipsticks that I really enjoy but when it was time to replace them a few years ago because they were way too old I found it difficult to find new lipstick that would work for my skin tone and because I watch Lisa Eldridge video and I love how she talks about colors and undertones I was really happy when she released her brand and she started with lipsticks and I could find many lipstick within her brand and also I like the quality of those lipsticks so I started with one lipstick and because I like the quality I kept on buying more and more and that's why most but not all most of my lipstick are from her brand so in the black pockets I have the nude colors and the nude that I wear the most from Lisa Eldridge is Velvet Decade it is a dark brown nude with some pink undertone in it and you must have seen this lipstick a lot on my channel it is one of my everyday lipstick and then the other nude that I have not worn that much but you can see it on a recent video is the Velvet Muse lipstick this one is a nude that is lighter I can wear it on its own it also has some pink undertone in it but I prefer to pair it with a darker lip pencil and for the lip pencil I don't use the Lisa Eldridge one because I use the Pillow Talk 3 Intense by Charlotte Tilbury it is a really good brown lip pencil for dark skin then in the pink pockets I have my lipstick which turned to be pink and purple and on the red pockets I have a lipstick that tends to be red so beyond the Lisa Eldridge lipstick I also have a little bit of other brands for instance what I'm wearing today is from the brand Bobbi Brown I really love this brand I've just found it difficult recently to find colors that works well for me but this one I love because it looks natural on my skin tone when I say natural I mean that it's just a perfect color on me it is there but it is not in your face it just goes well with my skin tone in my opinion her lip gloss by the way are actually really good it's not drying it feels so comfortable it's meant to felt like um, skincare like um, lip balm and it works I showed you a lot today and I hope you appreciated this video as I explained I'm still looking for a few things 
which would be more suited for summer and I have a few things in mind that's why I know there will be another video but I must say that I am very happy with the makeup I have I'm not looking to buy much more just a few things and yeah I enjoy it I actually use those products so I am happy with that as long as you use what you buy that is what matters the most if you have any question on any other product please leave them in the comment section i will be happy to reply to you and also let me know what makeup products are your favorite what do you use the most i want to know let's start the conversation in the comment section thank you for watching the video and i will see you on the next one bye bye